Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you have something on here you would like to see, we'll be talking about weather where the troops are. We'll talk about severe weather in the Mid-South, rainfall potential out there, and some of your great sunrise pictures from this morning, so stay tuned for more on that. Anything else you'd like to see on here, we can consider it. Just let me know at austin.onik at wreg.com. Over the next couple of days, we're going to be looking again at the threat of severe weather for parts of the Mid-South. The forecast is already starting to ramp up a little bit, mainly down to our south and to our west, but we are going to again see the potential of some of that severe weather mainly back into the Mid-South area in the southern parts of the viewing area. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more there. Currently across the area, a lot of cloud cover, frost on the view from the Windy Country Club camera. And also seeing again a lot more clouds expected throughout the course of the rest of the day today. Mid to upper 50s expected for later on this afternoon. Winds out of the south will help to bump the temperatures up by just a little bit. So again, a little bit milder than what we saw a couple of days ago. Now, as of the time we record this, about 8 o'clock Sunday morning, Memphis International is seeing cloudy to partly cloudy skies, but no delays being reported. The big green airplane, that's delays of 15 minutes or less. And that trend in the blue double arrow, that's expected to hold steady and not seeing any problems one way or the other. Likewise, across much of the rest of the continental United States at major and connecting airports, numbers are doing quite nicely out there. We're not seeing too much of any concern so far for travel purposes across uh, much of the Mid-South, so definitely good news on that. So if you are hitting the skyways for later on today, that again is going to be your primary concern for keeping up to date with what's going on with the weather. And as of right now, there's just really not that much happening so far, so good news uh, on that across much of the area. Now, no rainfall yesterday. We are still well behind. We might make up some of that in the next couple of days, nearly three and a half inches behind for November. We should be at nearly five inches for the month, which is typically one of the rainier months of the year. Hopefully we make up some of that, but not enough to cause flash flooding. And for the year, our surplus has dwindled to just under six inches, where we were pushing 14 inches of surplus rainfall February into March. Not seeing that right now. Temperatures in the Mid-South yesterday, pretty close to normal. 56 the high, 37 the low, 58 and 40 the normal. Record high today, 79 set back in 1990, and not a record low of 20 degrees set back in 1938. Fog burning off this morning, giving way to partly clear skies across the area, but the clouds will be on their way back, and notice that the winds coming up out of the south will continue to keep the temperatures bumped up just a little bit into the upper 50s to around the lower 60s in some locations. More clouds into later on tonight around News Channel 3 at 5, 60 minutes at 6, and by News Channel 3 at 10, chances of rainfall will be starting to make their way into the Mid-South as we look back to our West. We're just not seeing that much out there just yet, but again, into northeastern Arkansas, southeastern Missouri, that's where we're going to be seeing, again, the potential of any showers maybe some thunderstorms out there by the time News Channel 3's Todd Demers is on the air with daybreak tomorrow morning. Not much for the metro area yet but that will be changing as well. Severe weather threat to the west of us in the Oklahoma area, northern parts of Texas around the Red River Valley, and that's going to be a marginal threat of severe weather. Now here's where it gets interesting. As we get into tomorrow, most of the Mid-South is going to be under the green shaded category of a marginal threat, which is a lesser threat than what we see here under the slight risk category. So if you are going to be traveling south, especially to around portions of, say, uh, Louisiana, western parts of Mississippi, eastern Texas, and again, much of Louisiana will be seeing an enhanced risk of severe weather. That'll be, again, the highest threat of severe weather for tomorrow. Now, does this mean we don't have to worry or should never worry or panic about severe weather? But again, anything in and around this area, especially in the northern parts of Mississippi and southeastern Arkansas, that'll be the highest threat for the potential of severe weather in the Mid-South. Now through the rest of Monday night into Tuesday, the threat shifts away from us down to the Gulf Coast, so we shouldn't be seeing too much of anything else past Monday at about midnight, but that chance does still exist, so we'll keep an eye on that. Marginal threat mainly. Slight risk is increasing for parts of the area for the threat level into the next couple of days. Monday morning into early in the evening hours, that'll be the best time frame for severe weather. Again, right around the peak of severe weather time frame, peak heating time of the day 
day will help to aggravate the atmosphere that much more. Main weather types will be, again, damaging winds of any severe weather that we do get and secondary threat of tornadoes and or flash flooding to take a look at today. Again, the fog out, the clouds coming back in again, and that'll happen through the rest of the day. To and from work and school tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms possible. Best possibility of severe weather will be in the early to mid-afternoon hours. And again, stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. Upper 60s possible by Tuesday with some showers possible late in the evening. A few showers and thunderstorms left over after midnight Tuesday, clearing out, and then showers on Wednesday. Temperatures back to near normal on Wednesday, then below normal on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Also seeing dry conditions out there as well. And then another chance of showers and thunderstorms toward the first weekend of December. Numbers back in the lower to mid-50s across much of the area there and lows back in the upper 30s to the lower 40s so not again a, an amazing threat of severe weather but definitely the first biggest one that we've had in quite some time so stay tuned uh, for more information there what does it look like for rainfall purposes in the mid-south again through the afternoon and evening tonight not seeing a lot but moving into the mid-south around daybreak on Monday morning lunchtime again most of the threat remains west of the area but some decent amounts of rainfall coming our way through southern Missouri and eastern Arkansas and spreading across the Mississippi River into the metro by lunchtime and then a lot of rainfall possible. Could be some flash flooding out there. Three inches plus according to some of the computer models by rush hour on Monday so expecting a sloppy commute into parts of the Mid-South especially in the afternoon and evening and then the rainfall chance is basically over and done with by the time we hit Tuesday. We might make up a lot of the missed amount of rainfall that we should see for this time of the year. Weather where the troops are. So rock temperature around 60 degrees close to Baghdad, upper 60s around Basra, lower 60s Najaf and around Mosul. Heading into the Persian Gulf in the upper 60s to around the lower quarter they just passed that location. Heading into and around Afghanistan, also looking again at some pretty chill, especially into the mountains. We're seeing numbers again back in the lower 30s around Herat, freezing around Faizabad, a little bit warmer closer to Kabul and Kandahar with mostly cloudy skies reported there. And also looking at fairly nice weather, a bit on the chilly side for the DMZ south to around portions of South Korea. Temperatures in the upper 30s to the lower 40s. And again, a very big thank you to anybody else wearing the uniform out there. Thanks to Lori Robertson Naylor. Great sunrise over Bethel Springs, Tennessee yesterday. The picture taken by Peyton Naylor. So thanks to everybody else for showing that along. Also some beautiful shots from this morning. J.P. Rockin from Tipton County. Beautiful sunrise early on Sunday morning. Deborah J54 up early with her camera. A lot of frost around Humboldt, Tennessee, from what it looks like. And Memphis underscore Tom, Hernando, Mississippi. Beautiful weather showing up here. And thanks to everybody for sending those in. Anything you'd like to share with us, Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter. Rest of the day today, again, if you'd like the forecast while you're out and about, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. And don't forget about our apps available for the various platforms out there at WREG Weather for whatever phone or app tablet that you have. Again, we'll get you the weather forecast there. Been updated brand new in the last year or so, so a lot of new features on that, so check it out when you have the opportunity to do so. Again, possibility of severe weather into around the uh, course of the next day or so toward about Monday. This forecast will change, so you definitely need to stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. Again, comments, concerns, questions, or whatever you would like to see on here, we try to keep it as topical as possible, but if there's something on here that you would like to see more of, please let me know. And again, that's austin.onic at wreg.com. That'll wrap it up for now. Updates on your forecast tonight on News Channel 3 at 5 and the late edition at 10 or depending on when football gets over with, could be a little later there. We'll have updates on your forecast as well at wreg.com slash weather. From downtown Memphis at the News Channel 3 studios, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime for Sunday morning.